fact or fiction. CLL, brought to you by the Patient Empowerment Network. Let's talk a little bit about how CLL is staged, Dr. Rogers. So unlike uh, most cancers where CLL is staged with CT scans or PET scans, the staging for CLL is actually remarkably simple. And I really like this because it limits the amount of testing you have to do for people, uh, you know, especially people that might be just monitored for their CLL or observed. You don't want to put them through a lot of intensive, test, intensive testing they don't need. So the only two things you need to properly stage CLL are a complete blood count and a good physical exam. So in the United States, we use something called RAI staging, which is RAI staging. And before I launch into what it is, I will just say that even RAI stage 4 CLL is very treatable and people do well for many years. So this is not the same as when you think about lung cancer or breast cancer staging, where like, Stage four is, you know, oh no, we, you know, it's it's a much worse spot than stage one. You know, the the staging for CLL, all of it is still very treatable. So rise stage zero is when you only have an increase in uh, lymphocytes, which is the CLL cells in the blood. Stage one is when you have an have um, increasing lymph nodes. In addition to that, uh, stage two is an increased uh, size of the liver or spleen. And then if, uh, if someone has anemia fr from CLL, then it's stage three. And stage four is if you have low platelets from CLL. So kind of three and four are indications that the bone marrow is not working well due to CLL. Dr. Rogers, it seems like CLL is a very manageable disease. What are you considering when you're making a prognosis with a patient? So for, for many people, CLL is a very manageable disease. Uh, like I said, some people have had CLL longer than I've been a doctor and have needed no treatment for it. Um, however, there are people with CLL that go on to have a lot of difficulty from it, including not doing well with more than one therapy or needing really new advanced therapies, so like something called CAR T cell therapy. So for any individual person, you can never say how it's gonna turn out for them. But we do use our experience taking care of lots of people with CLL to make a kind of educated guess uh, as to if this person's gonna be someone that's gonna expect to need a lot of treatment in their lifetime or maybe no treatment in their lifetime. And uh, the main things we look at in addition to just uh, the staging or are they having symptoms or problems from CLL yet is uh, molecular testing. So these are genetic tests just on the cancer cells. So they're not genetic tests that other people in the family get tested for, it's just changes in the cancer cells. And so that can give us a guess as to how long before people need treatment and how well they'll respond to treatment. Uh, and uh, I'm, I know a lot of people are probably already familiar with this, but there's a, a particular chromosome change you can test for uh, called deletion 17P. And that predicts a shorter time to needing treatment, needing more treatments in your lifetime, maybe going on to needing those advanced treatments like CAR T cell therapy. It used to be recommended that people with 17P get regular like donor stem cell transplants, which in some cases is still done. And then there's, um, uh, on the other end of the spectrum, there's a chromosome change called deletion 13Q, which predicts that in many cases, people don't need treatment for many years and do very well. So there's a panel of chromosome changes um, that can predict like kind of where people are going to fall on the spectrum. Uh, the other kind of uh, chromosome change that's become important is something called complex karyotype. And again, this is just in the CLL cells, but the karyotype is the uh, arrangement of the chromosomes and these like the other uh, tests I was talking about are chromosome changes picked up at the test called FISH. This is just looking at all the chromosomes, what they look like. And if there are three unrelated genetic abnormalities or more, that's something called a complex karyotype, and it predicts people will fall in this category of needing more treatment or having more things to do with their seal in their lifetime rather than not. And then the third thing that is really important is something called, and, and this is gonna sound long, but it's immune globulin heavy chain gene mutational status. And mutations in the immune globulin heavy chain gene occur normally as these B cells mature. So people that are mutated have more mature cells that became CLL, and people that are unmutated have less mature cells. And people who are mutated that have more mature cells tend to you know, have fewer problems from CLL in their lifetime. 
and there's a few implications for CLL treatment for that category. So I kind of take all those things into consideration. And then the other thing that uh, I think is important to consider is kind of newer molecular testing, but that's still kind of in development. So I think I'll just end there for now on what I take into account. I did want to ask one follow-up. Dr. Rogers, how often do you like to check in with your patients with CLL? Oh, that's an excellent question because I think it really depends on how they're doing. So people that have had a lot of changes in their CLL, like the white counts increasing, healthy blood counts going down, lymph nodes changing, then usually I see them back more often. So I'll even see someone like maybe six or eight weeks later if they have a lot of changes. Uh, and then generally people who are having, you know, changes in their CLL or taking treatment for CLL, I'll see them at least every three months. Uh, however, like I said, there's some people that have had this uh, CLL for like decades with like no changes in how their disease is. So those people I'll see every six months or even sometimes once a year, especially if it's been like 10 years and nothing has changed with the CLL. Even though I like them and enjoy seeing them, I'm sure they have things they'd like to do rather than coming to see me. Mm -hmm.